Imagine a time before Earth, before the Sun, a vast, silent expanse of space. In a quiet corner of the Milky Way, a colossal cloud drifted, the solar nebula. This cloud was a cosmic nursery filled with hydrogen, helium and stardust, the ashes of ancient stars. These dust grains held the elements that would become our world, carbon, oxygen, silicon, iron. For millions of years, the cloud floated in balance, gravity and gas pressure locked in a cosmic standoff. Then a nearby star exploded in a supernova, sending a shockwave racing across space. The shockwave slammed into the cloud, shattering its balance and compressing the gas and dust. Gravity took over, pulling the cloud inward. As it collapsed, the cloud began to spin, flattening into a vast, rotating disk. This was the protoplanetary disk a cosmic carousel spinning around a dense, hot core. The stage was set for the birth of a star and its planets. From this spinning platter of gas and dust, a new solar system would emerge. The long, quiet night was over. A new dawn was about to break. The elements forged in ancient stars were about to begin a new chapter. The collapse and spin of the cloud would shape everything to come. The protoplanetary disk was a place of energy, motion and potential. The seeds of planets, moons and life itself were scattered throughout. The cosmic story was about to accelerate. The sun and its family of worlds were on the horizon. The universe was waking up. The solar nebula's transformation would echo across billions of years. Every atom in our bodies traces back to this moment. The journey from stardust to life was beginning. The first act of our solar system story had begun. And from this chaos, order would soon emerge. At the heart of the spinning disk, gravity squeezed gas into a dense hot ball, a protostar. For thousands of years it grew hotter and denser, glowing from the heat of collapse. When the core reached millions of degrees, nuclear fusion ignited, hydrogen fused into helium releasing immense energy. Our sun was born, a stable shining star. The sun unleashed a powerful solar wind sweeping away lighter gases from the inner disk. Only heavier elements, rock and metal, remained close to the sun. These would become the building blocks of the rocky planets. The sun's gravity anchored the new solar system, shaping the orbits of dust and gas. Its light and heat defined where different worlds could form. Close to the sun it was hot, farther out cold. This temperature gradient set the blueprint for our solar system. The sun had set the rules and created the conditions for planet formation. The cosmic construction site was ready. The slow, patient process of building worlds could begin. The sun's light illuminated the path forward. With the sun shining, the protoplanetary disk buzzed with motion. Tiny dust grains collided and stuck together, forming clumps. Over time, these clumps grew from dust to pebbles, then to rocks and boulders. Gravity took over, pulling these bodies, planetesimals, together. The largest planetesimals grew fastest, sweeping up more material. Close to the sun, only rock and metal survived, forming dense, rocky planetesimals. These would become Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Beyond the frost line, it was cold enough for ice to form. Here, planetesimals grew larger, gathering rock, metal and ice. Some became gas giants, pulling in hydrogen and helium, Jupiter and Saturn. Further out, Uranus and Neptune formed as ice giants. The basic blueprint of our solar system was set. Worlds of rock, gas and ice were taking shape. The early solar system was a violent, chaotic place. Planetesimals and protoplanets collided, shattered and merged. Giant impacts melted rock, vaporized oceans and scattered debris. The survivors grew by absorbing rivals, their spins and tilts forever changed. Jupiter's gravity stirred up chaos, preventing a planet from forming between it and Mars, leaving the asteroid belt. Jupiter also flung comets and asteroids across the solar system. The late heavy bombardment pummeled the inner planets for millions of years. The Moon and Mercury still bear the scars of this era. Even Earth was battered, though most craters have vanished. This was a trial by fire, a final chaotic phase before calm. From this cosmic demolition, the planets we know emerged. In the inner solar system, a young protoplanet, Proto-Earth, grew in the Goldilocks zone. It formed a dense iron core and rocky mantle. Then a Mars-sized body named Theia collided with Earth in a cataclysmic impact. The collision melted both worlds, merging their cores. Debris blasted into orbit, forming a ring around Earth. This ring coalesced into our moon. The moon's composition matches Earth's mantle, 
evidence of their shared origin, the moon stabilizes Earth's tilt, giving us seasons and tides. As Earth cooled, its crust solidified and volcanoes released gases, forming the first atmosphere. Water arrived via comets and asteroids, filling the oceans. Earth became a blue marble, unique with a large moon and abundant water. The stage was set for life to begin. Our planet's violent birth gave it the right ingredients for the next chapter. The emergence of life was now possible. The solar system settled into order, but remnants remain, the asteroid belt, the Kuiper belt, and the distant Oort cloud. These are fossils of our solar system's formation. Our sun is just one star among billions in the Milky Way. Many stars have planets. The story of our birth is likely not unique. Yet Earth is special, a world transformed by life. For billions of years, biology has shaped our atmosphere, oceans and land. Life made Earth a living, breathing planet. We are the product of an unbroken chain stretching back 4.6 billion years. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Are we alone? Among trillions of planets, how many have life? The search for our place in the universe continues. The story of our solar system is just the beginning. Our journey of discovery has only just begun.